We've got a honey of a, a dish coming up for you right now. This is from uh, Chef David Kong. It's from Perkano in Seattle. And he's gonna be doing polo a la piccata. And John and Angela Henrik from Seattle are the ones who recommended this. Uh, let me ask you a couple of questions, John and Angela. Uh, as I understand it, you and your daughter put on a, a dinner for th about 30 people. It's a big dinner at, at this restaurant. And it was kind of successful, I understand. Oh, it was perfect. It was absolutely delightful. And was this one of the dishes that they served? It's, it's... Yes, it was. Okay. And you liked it a lot? Oh, yes. And they had some, uh, they are so warm. It was like being at home. And the food was excellent. And the people were very happy. That, that's a nice yes. thing to happen in a restaurant, isn't it? Yes. When you go out for a special event, have it be special. If well, you're David going to have an 80th birthday, this is the place to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> David Kong is here to do this for you. And he's going to make it for you. And then we're going to ask you to come back in and take a bite and tell David what kind of a job he did. Okay, okay so I'm going to ask you to step out and we'll put David to work here. David, it's nice to see you. Good morning, Josh. Good to see you. All right. Yes. Now, we're going to do polo alto piccata. What is polo alla? Polo alla piccata. You got it right. It's what? Chicken? Chicken. Fresh chicken breast with the white wine capers lemon butter sauce. Okay. And what does perché no mean? It means why not in Italian. I love it. I love so it. So that's why I figured out, you know, this is a... Uh, I'm going to the 21st century Marco Polo, go back to Italy, bring back all my pasta back. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, well, they've been stealing a lot of pasta from us. Well, know. why not just start cooking here? Okay, okay. sure. We're going to have. No. Yeah, por qué no? Why not? You so, want me to get some heat under Yeah, please, please, you, please, please, please. Turn it on to it. So, what we have over here is very simple, and these dishes can make. At home, it's so simple. It take your tops ten minutes to make it onto it. Those are the ones we love. Yeah, simple, healthy. You can cook for your family, and also you can cook for your kids. And uh, I do a lot of for doing cooking class in uh, high school, teaching the kids the right things to eat. And it's so simple. As soon as they're done, and they just uh, go home and say, "Mommy, you know, I learned something from the school." Mm -hmm. Now so, that looks like a very large chicken breast. Did you pound it? Yes, out I pounded it, it out. For, yeah, it was a thick one, but you know, I just lightly pound onto it. And I like to use the organic or free-range chickens. Of course, the flavor is very, very different than what you get sure. in commercial sure. way. All oh, right. So, so what do we do first with first that? First, turn on the pans over here. Yep. And I make it a little hot. I'm going to put some uh, olive oil over olive oil. here, here please. Thank you. Looks like good olive oil. Oh, yeah. Extra virgin olive oil, of course, nice. in Italy. When you, okay. So by all means. I'll try not to scorch it so we'll keep all the goodness <laughs> yes. in there. Yes. That'd be great. So meanwhile, I'm going to put some uh, salt and pepper on the chicken. And over here, simple. Salt and pepper, so important. That's the most ingredients, the best ingredient in the world. Nothing tastes right without yeah, it. Yeah, without that, you're not a chef or cooks. That's all I'm going to say. But you see, folks, if, it, if the salt and pepper is put on while it's cooking, you don't have to add it, and you don't get too much salt, which, you know, can, as I you think age, starts true, to get George. bad. And if yeah. you don't season it before you cook it, it never really gets into the right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next step is to dredge it in that Just flour. Just put the flour slightly into it. You know, some people, you know, you know, allergic to weeds and everything. So by all means, you don't have to do that too. But I like it, so it thicken up a little sauce and it'll give a nice color onto it. To so what the do you do? Yep, bravo. I'm gonna turn this up just a little. Yeah, crank it a high onto it. Get a little sizzle going. Right. So as you see, it's very, very simple. All the ingredients you see in the front is simple. Okay. So I'm gonna take all this out of the way. Thank you. This is out of the way. And what we have here is the capers right here fresh chopped Italian parsley. So I just give you a, a chop here. You just try to pick up all this leaf onto it. As you can see, it smells so fantastic. Remind Is the you back in Italy. parsley very uh, different from the curly the parsley? Yes, they are, they are more in fragrant wise and the flavor is more better than the normal what the curly is one doing. Yeah. So what I do is just, just roughly chop into it. This is what home chopping. When as you get faster, become a chef, you go, <laughs> Drive the kids oh, no. crazy. Come to world, baby. You know. There's and, um, your Chinese heritage. Program. Yeah, kind of a Chinese <laughs> and a little bit, and uh, oh, you know, the Y2K we call it. Fast way. Just roughly chop into it. Don't be shy. Now you uh, folks came up here from San Francisco, right? We came from San Francisco. Your wife and, uh, and me and my team. wife, we came after the big earthquake left. I have no idea about Seattle, and what we have over here. Okay, now could you flip the chickens over here? Are you sure you want yeah. me to flip it yet? Please, please. Okay. Yeah, and just throw it in the oven. Okay. So you just lightly brown it and you can... Should I try this again or... Oh, okay, I, oh, be <laughs> <laughs> I can do A it, but... Uh, yeah, crepe is it, yeah. Everybody in the room, step back. <laughs> then you just throw inside the oven. All right. Well, you know, two, three minutes and you'll be cooking into it. 
and now so we just parsley chop now we, what we do is that and we're gonna slice some garlics right. this is for the side dishes we're gonna have it while mm -hmm. we do it so this is chopped parsley so it's gone slice garlics very simple put your hand here this is your steering so you drive it right. this is your your tire you're cutting a controller so you just go cut it slowly i will cut it very thin slowly if okay, you keep your it. knuckle out just a little further right. than your fingertips it there kind you of go. protects your fingertips doesn't right. it right you got yeah. it but you know first time i always say you know anybody wanted to cook please learn how to cut your hand <laughs> you look fast <laughs> just like that pop 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 say okay you are ready bandage yeah, right there yeah. everything's ready onto it yeah so, once bitten twice shy that, yeah you get onto that it that does it. happen it does happen so this is sliced garlic which you're going to put over here and this is the chopped parsley you're going to put over here and then uh, now we're going to do the vegetables very okay. simple olive oil please oh george ah, i'll take go. that olive there oil go. back all right i know you there you go Put onto it. That's, that's enough. A little bit. It's gorgeous. Now There's you put some uh, little Sorry. garlic. Depends how much the, you want to use the garlics onto it. You know, some people love garlics. In Italy, they they like to taste the garlic, not too much onto it. Mm -hmm. So I slice it up, just dump onto it. Now, personally, I like my garlic not so brown. Right. I think it gets bitter when it's browned. So yeah, the secret of cooking the garlics is that it's you know. You brown it, lightly brown, it becomes caramelized, it becomes sugar. Very If lightly. you go cook it, it becomes burns onto it. Yeah. So now we're gonna put it, now it's almost lightly golden brown. Yeah, beautifully so, golden. I can smell that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have this goes onto it. Oh Between my. onions and now the garlic. Oops, sorry. I'll grab that yep, one. You get onto it. And then you throw the carrots onto it. Very simple. Now were these carrots blanched ahead of time? Yes, a blanch ahead of time. Or you don't have to blanch it onto it. So, you know, I'm sure everybody knows how to peel the garlic. I mean, peel the, the carrots. Mm -hmm. And then you julienne onto it. If you want me to show you, because I'm, it's very simple. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. La, 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 la. And then you just cut it. And you turn around. Cut it in half. Make sure you have them stabilized. From here, you just go like this. And then you get this into it. Mm -hmm. If you kind of want it thinner, you cut it into it. So that's how you cut the kind carrots of onto it. Large julienne or yeah. almost a baton. Yeah, these are like a little. Yeah, this is a side dish. So a little salt, and over here. Ah, yes, the salt. White little pepper and peppers. Happy times. Give it a little kick. And now you put some white wine. There we go. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, vino. We got a vino in Italian cuisine. Vino, vino. Hey, che mangiare? They say. Okay, deglaze it. Let it burn the alcohol, most important of all. And then, of course, we are cooking chicken. Remember, we are cooking chicken. Chicken stock. Use everything chicken. Yeah, so right. good idea. Chicken stock here. By all means, if you, you know, these are fresh chicken stock. So easy to make it. If not, you can buy in the can low sodiums. And then, over that, you just cover up. Get a little steam onto it. So, so essentially, we've got a vegetable braise going on here. Yeah, kind of braise a and caramelization, yeah. then the liquid. Right, right, you got it. Everything's going to get tender. Fantastic. So now Wonderful. We're clean up these ones. Yeah, we got one right over. Okay. Well, Thank once you. again, you've got a side dish that would be delicious in and of itself. Right. <laughs> I think if I just had those vegetables with some noodles. <laughs> well, we can have our pasta in too. Of course, Italian without our pasta, this is like nothing. But since the uh, the, my, all my friends today was asking for chicken piccata and serving the vegetables. No. Now we're going to take up, go ahead. Oh, no, the chicken in the it. oven. Yeah, please. I've got a hot pad hiding <laughs> down here. <laughs> okay. Before we um, burn it. There's that chicken. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, nice. since once you steam it up, now you can turn it off. It's just a few seconds. It's just perfect. See? Nice and al dente. You don't want to overcook it. Okay. Beautiful. Then you just put it away. Now, this chicken's over here. You can turn it on. We crank it up real high. Okay. Get a so, lot of heat under there. Yes, under heat. Now you make the sauce very simple, okay? Again. Be careful with that handle. It's yes. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, salt again. Okay. Pepper. Now, Peppers picata again. Picata means piquant, right? Like right. A sharp. Like right, you got it. So let's see what it looks like when everything comes together. Okay. So we're gonna, gonna put this one here. here for you. And then white wine. Oh, again, the white wine again. White wine. So everything comes you together. Glaze it. Are we going to add your chopped garlic and yes, parsley? Yes, no garlic at all, just oh, capers. Oh, just capers. capers. Very simple. Capers, of course. Lovely. Lemon. No zest. There comes oh, some lemon. of that piquancy yeah. right now. The whole lemons, you can just kind of score it a seed. By all means, my hand is clean, 100 proof. And if we had more time, we might let this reduce for a minute Right, or two, reduce a minute or two, it, and that's it. And then we add, make sure you put butter. Support the dairy man, because <laughs> they need it. 
<laughs> you just melt it up and you reduce a little bit onto it. And while you do it, that, I'm gonna garnish the vegetables on okay. here. So you can continue reduce it. Wonderful. Okay, so very simple to put it on. Any kids can do it too. Get the kids busy and eat healthy. So you just garnish it. I like these it. simple pan sauces, David, yep. when you replace the water with a little butter. Right. And you just get this richness that's so easy. Very easy, clean, and then the richness has also come from the chicken's breast, the juice onto it. You know, I always like to, when I cook something onto it, I always liked to put something, whatever you're cooking, your fish, you brace with the sauce together onto it. Mm -hmm. So right now we put it here, as we see, garnish, very simple. Now this is fun too, because if you don't like too much garlics, don't put it. If you like garlic, just put cup of it. Oh, okay. That's the fun of it, see? Gorgeous. Yeah, same day. And now you've reduced it. You put some chopped parsley, beautifully. It's all yours. I think you can finish the dish. All right. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you trust me? Oh, I will trust you, no problem. It's a simple dish that I want everybody homes can start cooking on. But it yeah. is such a beautiful dish. Can you imagine putting this in front of your family some night for dinner when right. they don't expect it? Wouldn't that be wonderful? I'm going to take a little bite of this. Yeah, please, by all means. Oh, please, oh yeah, I, I need that. Oh, yeah, I need that. Need that. Yeah. Scoop it up, and that's about it. Great. Yeah. Taste, mm -hmm. taste, taste. Taste, taste, taste. Oh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> the Henrys don't are here John throwing things at me, folks. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, one of my jobs here is to have to eat. And I okay. Oh, yes. Do we have any we know that we have some yes, yes, yes. We've got Let's get this yes. for you, yes. folks. So, yeah. Yeah. for you, Mr. Hendrick. Yeah. You can have a fork Thank if you want. You if you yeah, have you a fork, have a fork if you'd rather have it. Yeah. I'm going to grab a fork for myself. Please do. Please do. I will. Have there you go. Yeah. As you say, it's, it's very easy to make it. It's uh, great dishes. And of course, we Americans love chickens. And if it's that half the way as good as it smells, is that good? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Bravo, bravo. We got one, folks. We, got one. Yeah. <laughs> we thank you That's so much it. for bringing David in here. And, and David, thank you so much for a You're wonderful, welcome. wonderful dish. Give a call to 1-800-443-1999. Take advantage of this. This is something you can serve your family and do it just about as fast as David and Greg did it. So give yourself a break and give the family a break. Go to the phone, get the cookbook, and do some cooking. Grazie. Grazie mille. Allora. Thank you, Grazie. Angela, very much. Grazie. Thank you.